Welcome back to Maros Films. Today we have a new interesting product from Freewell. Something so much desired when filming outside in bright conditions and you still want to maintain that filmic soft look. We're talking about the Freewell Mist X Variable ND Filter. So what's an Mist ND Filter? Well, I have already used Mist ND Filters from Freewell and you can check the link in the description or the video that will pop up right now and find out more about normal Mist ND Filters and how they work. Short explanation. The glass inside this VND X Mist Filter is slightly altered to get you a softer image. It will remove most of the today too sharp lenses and digital look. More of it next into the video. This kind of product is new in the market right now. And actually, until now, you had to use multiple glasses, just like one mist ND filter and another ND filter on top of it to get the actual desired mist softness out of your lens. Now, this is changing the game. One compact single two-piece glass acting just like normally and variable ND filter with the mist filter inside. And Freewell sent me the 2 to 5 stops and 6 to 9 variants. Just like every ND filter from Freewell, they are made out of pure high definition optical glass in 18 layers. Hard stops integrated in these filters will eliminate the chance for a cross polarization and zero vignetting. Note, both of these filters are with a diffusion of 1 slash 8. Every so often, Freewell is redesigning the package that you get with the ND filters. In this iteration is made of metal. I prefer the plastic one with the transparent top so I actually understand which filter is inside without taking it out. Enough rumbling, let's get straight to a test so you can understand more what's the purpose of this mist variable ND filter. Let's have a look on the scenes. On the first one you can clearly see the sharpness of the lens at its maximum. It's a Sigma. This test is featuring the Blackmagic 6K with the Sigma 50mm f1.4. And yes, I'm sharp, sharp, really sharp. Switching to the variable ND filter X 6 to 9, you can clearly see the difference. Zooming in, you'll get a more softy look even with this really sharp lens. I'm getting the same results when used with the 35mm f1.8 for this comparison test on my Sony A7 S3 handheld. When shooting toward bright objects like sun, the variable ND filter X mist filters will give you much more a softer lens flare and actually a dreamier film look if you want to call it like that. The standard variable ND filter will get you just a lens flare. So if you are in the league for an all-in-one solution, this could be your perfect choice because Freewell is making them up to the 82mm filter thread lens. And if you need them, well, you can actually get step-up rings and get all your lenses with just these two ND filters with the mist included. And I think that the price is really competitive if you get them in a combo. The 2 to 5 and 6 to 9 cost just $220. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer them all. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked, subscribe with the bearing icon so you get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.